Red Player Media, because Neil Patrick Harris was in an episode of Quantum Leap where Sam looked like he was dressed as the Flash, or he was the Flash. We can remember. <laughs> The smell of bacon in the morning. Welcome to the Keto Convert Podcast, the show that aims to make keto easy to follow, affordable, and doesn't overwhelm you with science. We'll go over tips, hacks, and how to overcome the social stigma that this is just way too hard. I have been converted, and I think you will be too. Hey, 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 this here is Rhino, your fat-fueled ketogenic host, broadcasting from the nurturing vibe sphere of the mothership, the home of Red Player Media, and... I've got Isaiah on the camera. Oh, no. You the got podcaster. me to do it. I've never been on camera before, guys. It's so scary. Yeah, unless you, you know, look twice a week. On the yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was weird when this was starting. I do this twice a week. <laughs> but I was like, well, what do I do? I was what? like, oh, I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, I, remember, yeah, but- I, I was like, I do this twice a week. Why? It didn't feel any different. It's just a different show. But I guess because it was a different show and I haven't been on this side of the table for it yet. Right. That I was like, I don't know what to do. And whenever the intro started going, I was like, "Why? oh, he's about to say it. And then you weren't talking physically. And I was like, oh, that's right. That's pre-recorded him talk. I don't know. I completely lost every sense of what I do on a, every other show. But for some reason on this one, I'm like. Really? Yeah, it was really weird. Really wow. weird. And also notice my energy is completely different right now because I'm on the other side of the table. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. It's really weird. This is great. (laughs) Now I know what I looked like. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Yeah, when we were recording that intro, I was like, welcome. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Oh. So. So, Isaiah. Uh, I used to have a job collecting leaves. What was it called? Rhino's Leaves Company? No, but I was really raking it in. Oh, God, man. (laughs) Is this going to be every episode? These I don't little, know. These little dad jokes? It, it could be because I'm a dad. Well, that's true. I like it, a good dad joke here and there. Maybe I'll come with a dad joke. Now that, we never know. That would be awesome because yeah. you are also the dad. So I, that, that, would is, be, that is true. I am one of them. Yes. Us. Ah, yeah. Anyways. I am one of you. Mm-hmm. All right. Hit us with some housekeeping. Housekeeping. So, uh, of course, uh, this is under the Red Player Media banner, redplayermedia.com. Uh, you can go check out all the shows that we do um, every Monday. Three guys, one movie. Every Tuesday, Blast Plays. Every Wednesday, Blast Chamber Radio. Occasionally, Thursday's Blast Plays as well. And then, of course, every Friday, the Keto Convert Podcast, which you're listening to now. Uh, of course, you can check out all those shows on Instagram, Twitter, uh, for Red Player Media. Uh, and then YouTube for Blast. i got to figure this out, man. There's too many different versions of what to go to where. So too just many go moving to, parts. Yeah, redplayermedia.com. It's got all the links. It's got all the locations to get stuff. And, uh, yeah. So now yeah, it's time for Keto Talk. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But first. Uh-oh. But first. So on Keto, I've been losing weight, right? Yeah. And we've, we've talked about that. You know, people. You know what would be cool? You if you did a Keto podcast about you gaining weight. Actually, <laughs> I've actually, there, so much weight on keto. Yes, I'm so proud of myself. I'm up to almost 400 pounds. No. Oh yeah, there was actually a guy who put together a documentary, and he has a Instagram page. It's called From Fit to Fat to Fit. Oh god! And he was a guy that had followed like macros and stuff to get in shape, and then he purposely got bad overweight to give keto a chance. There's this guy Christian Bale. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. The the mechanic and yeah. then the and, and then what and, and then, then Dick Batman. Cheney or yeah, what? Dick, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That so he crazy. went all all over the place. Um, speaking of that, I heard that in Batman Begins, I think it was Batman Begins, that the cast did not know he was English. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. And when he went to the rap party, he spoke in an English accent as he does, and everybody thought he was doing a bit. <laughs> that makes sense because a lot of people didn't know he was English until like Batman, I think. And then he started doing even more interviews than normal. And I remember the wife was like, what? 
And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess so. <laughs> well, see, see, I thought it was good. Australian for a little bit. And I was like, no, that's a different country. Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Is he Australian? I think so. I was thinking of. I'm going to uh, look that up. I was thinking of Wolverine. Uh, oh, yeah. Wolverine. That was another one for people, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, Tom Hardy. I, I didn't realize he was English. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You ever seen but, Peaky Blinders? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not English in that, but. Yeah. Whatever. You can hear his accent. <laughs> right. He's Jewish in that. But, eh, right. I know. I remember the first time I heard him get a, a interview. I was like, what in the world? But uh, Yeah. Australian. Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. Yes. Um, Continue. So anyway, like I'm saying, I was losing weight. And so I used to work part time at a hotel mm. and I got a pair of Dickie's work pants. And I now work for a company where I do manual labor deal so i needed a pair of sturdy work pants nice so, work pants yeah yeah so i so i uh i thought well hey i've got those dickies work pants in my closet i'll put them on cool so i put them on and then i went to grab a belt and they literally hit the floor oh. like they fell off of my hips yeah onto the floor yeah and i was like whoa nice because because i you know i told you i've lost weight and some of my clothes are a little bit bigger but that was the first time i actually actually put on a pair of pants and they hit the floor. And then you tried to put the belt through it and that all cinched up and you looked like an idiot. Yeah. yeah. I told my wife the other day, I was like, look, I was like, look, I, I look like one of the little, little rascals. You know? Yeah. I trying need, to put on big people pants. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. serious. I told my wife, I was like, look, we, we gotta, we gotta, you know, stop down and buy some new pants. Cause, yeah. cause I look like I'm wearing MC hammer pants. Stop at that Dickies outlet on the way home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The one over in fourth. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, I've got like, and the belt that I had is so like extra long that like I've wrapped it around and it's like through the third like loop back here. You oh, know what geez, I mean? It's, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I, I seriously I'm wondering now, you know, like I feel kinda like that guy who had his pants, but now his whole body fits in one leg of him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's awesome, so, man. That's good. So yeah, that was great. Now now these pants are a few years old, but but yeah, yeah I just thought, golly, it's crazy. That's always good. Now, the last episode we talked about some coffee and how coffee is a, the caffeine in coffee is a kind of a fat burner thing. Mm -hmm. So what some people do, and actually I tried it, and I, and I think I might have just mentioned it in passing uh, in one of the video videos in one of the episodes. Uh, it's called bulletproof coffee. Yes, I've and heard a lot about this. I didn't think it would taste good. Yeah. Basically, what bulletproof coffee is is coconut oil. Um, you don't have to use coconut oil. Some people do, but basically. Actually, what it's coconut oil is a, is a yes or no, uh, optional. But it is coffee, and it is um, butter. Oh yeah, I've heard. And then you take and so I thought, oh, I can do this. So I remember grabbing just you know butter out of a tub, throwing yeah. it in the coffee, and putting it in a blender and blending it up. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, it tastes no, like that's crap. Probably a bad idea. So what? It's weird. The only way to get it to work is to use grass-fed butter, Kerrygold butter. And I know it, it's whatever, but it, it tastes 100 times better. So you get coffee, you put a tablespoon of that Kerrygold butter in there, and if you have one, get they call it, I think they call it an emulsion blender. It looks like a wand kind of thing that you stick down in the liquid, and it's like, it looks, you know, it looks like a long, it looks like a wand, and you just take it and you stick it down in there, and then, yeah. and it goes, and it, you know, down to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, tastes good yeah i need it to try does. it out i've heard a lot about it i have never done it coffee has always given me a headache okay. doesn't matter it what does, kind of it coffee it doesn't matter like how much even if it's just a cup for some reason it's always given me a headache now if i have like iced coffee mm -hmm. it's specifically like at a uh, starbucks i'm glad you changed that by the way you look like you're going downhill <laughs> you're both your hands are on the side of the chair and you're <laughs> like it's because i'm doing ready. a podcast real fast I'm ready. <laughs> but um <laughs> Hey, watch the video. You know what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, but like at a Starbucks, I don't get it for some reason. It must be because they do less caffeine on average to try and get you to buy more shots. I don't know. Maybe. But whenever I do coffee at home or like at work, man, headache. Really? I don't know, man. I don't know what it is. I can have monsters. Yeah. No problem. I can even have those shots. Yeah. I can even have those like shots of energy stuff and it's still a monster wonder. that I can quit anytime. Anytime you want, exactly. I'd be having one right now if I didn't already meet my max for the day. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't have I, I love those. I just love the way they taste. Have you tried the green monster yet? No, remember I texted you a picture of it? 
Oh, you didn't get it? No, I just oh. I just texted you a picture of it. Oh yeah, well I should have gotten that for you. Oh well, yeah, and I was like, good. I was like, hey, look at this. Remember I texted you? And I was like, look what I saw, and you texted me. I had it in you my like, hand. Yeah, it's right yeah here. I was like, like, that's when you know we have a problem. You're like, hey, yeah. dude, look at this new monster. I was like, I already got it, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I've already got it. Yeah. You know what? Um, Anyways, yeah, go ahead. Speaking like, of, of proof. yeah, well, that's really good. Uh, what I do if I'm getting Starbucks coffee is I get. Oh, and what I do in the bulletproof coffee just to give it a little, little better taste is I'll put like heavy whipping cream in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, if I go to Starbucks, what I order, and man, I don't know if you've ever had this, and 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 I didn't realize this was going to turn into coffee talk. Coffee, but uh, yeah, uh, it's a peanut. It's neither pea nor not discuss. You know, <laughs> talk amongst <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> anyway, but but uh, if you go if you go to Starbucks, uh, get a blonde roast. I now, think I've had one one time, but it was a long time ago, so I don't remember. Now, the thing, I, I really like dark coffee. Yeah, me too. But somebody told me, uh, one of them baristas, mm. baristas, whatever they're called, you know, the coffee servers. I think it's barista. Yeah, barista. Yeah. You he told me that actually the lighter the coffee is, the stronger it is. Are because you're holding on for dear life again. I don't really <laughs> now I'm like you. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I was all comfortable until you joined the party, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I told you I shouldn't have come on. This. Yeah. Anyway, no, nah, I'd rather have you here. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. man, anyway, so so apparently, kind of like you know when when people cook with wine and stuff, the alcohol cooks out, right? Yeah. So the longer you roast the coffee bean for, the darker it is, and the more caffeine it cooks out, right? So I found out, and actually, I like blonde the blonde roast. It tastes really I good. I need to try it. But what I do. Is I uh, I tell them to to put heavy whipping cream in it and it makes it keto right so mm-hmm. I I get no or you know like some people they like to put sugar free vanilla sweetener and stuff like that but sure but I always get just uh uh just a blonde roast with heavy whipping cream they don't have sugar free peppermint there do they I don't know because oh, I don't man. I really I don't use any any versions of sugar free anything really my in in that in coffee yeah yeah my favorite thing to get there up until I started doing this so I haven't I haven't gotten Starbucks very much. Um, was the uh, the iced coffee with an extra shot, and then uh, the uh, peppermint hmm. with it in there, and no no normal creamer. So it yeah. takes away their creamer or uh, not creamer. I'm sorry, uh, their um, syrup or whatever yeah. the normal classic syrup that's in it. So I'm take that out, and then I get uh, peppermint. But I've never looked up what the nutrients are on it, so I haven't gone back to it yet. Because oh, I'm sure it's yeah, I'm sure it's way up there. So. 800 carbs per <laughs> yeah, per drop. I'm sure it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But, they yeah. might. I don't they might. I should ask. Well, last episode we found out or no, that was this was before the podcast. We were talking about how they ha- how you told me they have a sugar-free cherry at Sonic. Oh, yeah, today. Diet, yeah, 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 diet, yeah. We were talking diet cherry. Diet yeah. cherry. Yeah, Sonic. yeah, Sonic. you can get you can basically make this right here. Yeah, diet You just get Coke. Coke Zero with diet cherry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I need to do that. It's good, man. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, so yeah, bulletproof coffee is good stuff. Uh, I like it. Some people don't like it, but and I didn't like it until I did it with the the Kerrygold grass fed butter, and that yeah. that's what did it for me. It really was. So you need to try it. I know it. I know it sounds weird, but it's it's got to be in the butter, I guess. Learning something new every day on this show. So now we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes, if you will. What the actual what the actual show is about. So, like, coffee... T- go ahead. Well, coffee talk, yeah, and, and leading into what yeah, you're about so, to start. So, what does coffee, gener- coffee, coffee. coffee generally help with uh, on a day-to-day uh, routine? Ah, How does yes. it help you in yes. other ways yes. than energy? It can help you get going. Into the potty. Bathroom. Oh, oh bathroom, yeah. <laughs> yes. so we don't call that anymore. Yes, to the poop stall. Yeah. As mm-hmm. we mentioned in the in the previous... The previous, the potty. Oh my gosh, man! This is way off subject, real quick. But my youngest daughter watches uh, Daniel Tiger. I don't know if you know what that is, but remember no. there used to be there used to be Mister Rogers, right? Oh. Y'all actually talked about this on Blast Chamber not too long ago. You were talking about Mister Rogers, yeah. and somebody said, "Is Mister Rogers still around?" You're like, "I don't know." On PBS, well, Mister Rogers isn't around anymore. Oh, it's not. Okay. No, but the Fred Rogers Company, the Fred Rogers Broadcasting, whatever that made Mister Rogers when Mister when Fred Rogers passed away. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about the documentary. Yeah, on yeah, his yeah, life. yeah, Maybe it was three guys, one movie. I don't remember. Who knows? But it, it one was of them. it was one of the other. Just two listen shows. to them all. You'll yes. hear it. Yeah. That's right. And the Blast Plays too. Uh, 
But what happened is, is whenever he passed away, the Fred Rogers company came out with what's called Daniel Tiger. And Daniel Tiger is a cartoon. And the main character is a tiger named Daniel. Mm-hmm. And, but he lives in the land of make believe with all the Mr. Wait, was, McFeely. And, wait, wasn't that tiger in that world in the show? Was he? I think so. Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Anyway, so the show's about him. He's now the main character and he's a, he's a little kid. You know, I don't know how old he is, four or five. It doesn't ever say, but he's a little kid. And the things he deals with, and one of the things that he deals yeah, with. this guy, right? Oh, I didn't know he was. Yeah, he I was He was that. on Mr. Rogers, yeah. Well, so they made a thing. That? Okay, so cool. Yeah, so he, okay, right. so now he's the main character. That's cool. And one of the things that they, just so happened, my daughter was watching it the other day, and the episode was about going to the bathroom. Mm. And, <laughs> and it is... It is the most uncomfortable. Tell you how to go to the bathroom, children. It was, yeah, it was the <laughs> most creepy. uncomfortable. And he's like, "When you gotta go to the party, <laughs> you know." And it it is so uncomfortable to watch the you know because they all get up and sit yeah on the bathroom you know on the on the pot you know and then and that was, not that that was bad enough but then he goes, "My mom taught me that sometimes sometimes you want to just wait a little bit longer just to make sure if there's no more that needs to go. And I was like, okay. And then he came out and he's going back to playing with his friend. And, and he's like, mom, I don't, he's like, I don't feel good. And his friend's like, do you need to tell your mommy? And he's like, yeah. And, and his mom comes in. What's wrong, Daniel? And he goes, mom, my stomach hurts. And she goes, did you go potty? And he goes, yeah. And then she goes, oh my gosh. I, and I lost it. She goes, maybe you need to poop. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and remember, we've discussed that I'm five. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's hilarious. So, I, so I and so. I lost it. I, almost, I seriously like fell off the couch <laughs> onto the floor. <laughs> and my six year old daughter's looking at me like, "What is wrong with Dad?" And my wife is like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "He just told me how to poop." You know. I don't. Know. <laughs> but <laughs> so, speaking of another off subject, then we can get back to it. Speaking of kids shows, they're doing a live action Door the Explorer. Really? And you know who Boots is, right? Yeah. Guess who's doing the voice? You'll never guess. Who? Danny Trejo. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Danny Trejo. I, I, I didn't give a crap about that movie, dude. Yeah. I am 100% watching oh, yeah. that movie now. Yeah. El Mariachi is Boots. Yeah. yeah. Where it's, it's on now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, dude. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. You know, it'd be I, awesome if they could find a way to, to just hide that, that lady that he's got tattooed on his, on his, Somewhere yeah, in yeah. it, yeah. You somewhere, know, yeah, somewhere yeah. on the, yeah. you know, that'd or just awesome. the sombreros. Anyway, that'd, that'd be amazing. <laughs> anyway, so that brings us to poop talk. <laughs> so it's an uncomfortable subject, and yes, we've we've joked around about it and had potty humor, and that's great. But it is, it really is something that that some people tend to kind of deal with mm-hmm. when you're when you're doing keto. Changes up if you haven't been doing keto, you're going to get some weird scenarios. Oh yeah. So so what happens is some people they start to almost experience like constipation or whatever. Yeah, right? for sure. So there's there's so a, much meat. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So and there's certain steps you can take. So chocolate laxatives. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, just do not go to sleep. Yeah, because <laughs> because yeah. when you're asleep, you relax a little bit, and then it's it's on. It'll be the most expensive laxative you ever take. Yes, new and bed, then, and then and then you know your your wife's like, "What is going on?" And mm-hmm. you know, anyway, swamp thing is just a tech. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so yes, so like Isaiah just said, meat. So what happens is when you could start to consume. A lot of meat, which keto is a lot of meat. Hmm. When you start to consume a lot of meat, what happens is meat doesn't just sit around in your body and become waste like like normal food. Your body is actually designed to get a lot of nutrients from meat, right? So if you're consuming a lot of meat, you're absorbing a lot of nutrients from meat, and so there's not a lot of waste left over, right? So when you take a dump, that's where we get the word waste from, right? It's the waste. It's mm-hmm. what your body didn't need, so it's getting rid of it, right? Yeah. Well, when you consume a lot of meat, there's not a whole lot for your body to get rid of. And so now your your movements or dumps or whatever are off, and you think, crap, I'm constipated. Well, you're probably not really constipated. You're eating food that your body is getting a lot of nourishment from, and it's absorbing a lot of it, so it doesn't create as much waste. Yeah. So that's that's what's happening. Another thing that happens is because we've already talked about drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, right? You want to drink water because what happens is is your body's absorbing all this stuff. You're you're peeing out 
a ton of water, right? Because you're doing keto, so you're peeing a lot because you don't have the carbs that's holding the water in. And what happens is your body's getting rid of all this water. It's getting rid of water, plus it's using what little water you have left in your body to help break down your digestion, right? Well, mm-hmm. a lot of your digestive system is liquid involved, right? It helps yeah. move things along. It helps ease things along. Well, if you're not drinking water, then you're you're robbing your body of the liquid that not only you need to live, but also takes care of other bodily functions like going to the bathroom, right? Yeah. And so a lot of people start to get, you know, the bubble guts or they start to, they feel like they've got diarrhea, but nothing's happening and things like that. Because what's happening is, is you have certain muscles in that area of your body that help with digestion and help ease the, the waste along, right? And, and evacuate it from your body. But what happens is over time, we, we have so much water in our body because carbs hold water that what happens is is the water and the, and the liquid in our body do a lot of the digestive work for you. So those muscles, and this is going to sound really weird, but those muscles aren't working as hard because there's liquid to ease it along, right? So what happens is now you're using those muscles with almost no liquid. Yeah. And so, you know, when you go to the gym or you know, you're talking about you do your push ups, when you first started doing your push ups, you were a little bit sore, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, those muscles that help evacuate your system are now being worked really hard for like the first time without without any lubrication, right? You know, like like uh, the tin man, he was all stiff, right? And they put some grease, you know, some oil and he mm. could start moving, right? Yeah. Maybe a bad analogy, but he can start moving. It works. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens is is now you've taken that lubricant away, so it's having to do all the work on its own. And so the the stomach cramps and the feeling of diarrhea and, and all these things that are going on, and you're doubled over and you think, man, I'm in so much pain. It's because those muscles are getting worked out for the first time in a long time without any help. So, you know, when you do a workout, you're like, man, my chest is sore or whatever. That's what's happening down there. It just feels a hundred times worse than your chest being sore. Right. 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 So that that's what's actually happening uh, in that case. And so that's why a lot of people, they'll complain about stomach cramps and all that other stuff. Um, what about movements in general? So, again, if you're consuming, if you're on a more of a, carnivore based keto diet which is almost nothing but meat you're you could have you may only crap like twice a week i mean seriously yeah uh now if you're so there's some things you can do right remember we mentioned magnesium before okay magnesium helps i told you with stomach cramps and things like that magnesium also has a relaxing effect to those muscles so they're not working as hard. It helps relax it a little bit. So remember I told you, like, I take it at night. Yeah. So here's some personal information. Not only do I sleep good, but in the morning, yep. I have a pretty good evacuation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Because it... So we're doing the work overnight. Right. So it's not... I mean, it's not like the whole laxative thing, but it does help your body relax a little bit while you sleep, and that way things are kind of moving a little bit, and then when you wake up in the morning... Yeah, you can go. So when you're when you're starting keto, when you're when you've been doing keto for a while, or if you're doing a more carnivore based approach to keto, more and more meat and less and less of everything else, then you're not regular, right? Well, according to what you're used to, you know what I mean. So you may only poop twice a week instead of every day or or whatever. Now there's certain things you can do. You can take the magnesium. Like I was telling you, you need to seriously, seriously concentrate on drinking a ton of water. Forget the eight, eight ounce glasses. You need to be drinking yeah. gallon, two gallons a day. I mean, as much as, you know, uh, another Not thing. Not kombucha. Need, no. My wife loves, loves that stuff. Oh, okay. So, so snake. Yeah. <laughs> it smells so bad. Yeah. I mean, you can still drink that and that might help, but, but it still comes down to what, you know, your, your digestion system and what's happening. Uh, what you can do besides the magnesium is eat some low carb vegetables like broccoli, uh, seaweed, Nick, I guess, since you're into seaweed. Uh, <laughs> apparently, you know, that's what I was told by Blast Chamber. Anyway, uh, uh, kale, spinach, things like that. It's just some roughage to help, yeah. to help get it going. But I will tell you, 
Oh, and another thing, increase your salt intake too, right? So, so the peak Himalayan sea salt, the um, electrolytes, those kind of things to help you retain some water because you need a lot of water for your digestive system, yeah. right? Now, I will tell you, if you go and have a cheat day, then you're gonna you're gonna poop. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's and it's it reeks, gonna be a lot different than it's been the past two weeks. Yes, <laughs> and it is going to be bad, and it's. I remember the first time I really had a good, as I called it, hard cheat. Yeah. I mean, it was it was like, you know, dumb and dumber when he finds out the bathroom's broke and he can't hold it anymore. I mean, it was <laughs> it was bad. The best thing to do is go eat roses on your cheat day when you've been doing keto the whole time. And then then you'll really, you know, have a nice situation going on there. Yeah. <laughs> God, that happened to me. Everybody wanted to go to roses. And I was like, okay, roses taste good. Uh, but I pre- really don't want to go. They're like, they're all going. And I was like, all right. And then yeah, later that night, I was like, oh, man, I, uh, I had roses. Did it carry so, into the next day? Uh, maybe a tad. It was mainly that one day. Golly, for me. For I mean, me. I ha- doing this, I haven't had any problems. So. so for me, if I have a hard cheat day, yeah. sometimes it'll carry into the next day, too. Yeah. I mean, cheat and it, day wise. And it takes know, me a little bit to get over it. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely I'll definitely have a, uh, you know, it'll be different. But um the week to week thing, as far as being on keto, normally I haven't had any, and I really haven't either. I, I did I mean, a, I tried a week of uh, just the regular carnivore, yeah, diet, which we can talk about that at a later date. No, oh, it's but always later. Never enough later. time, right? That's right. We're on a, we're on a, we're Stringed. up against it here. Yeah. Anyway, but but the whole thing, yeah, and that and that is so much, but just regular meat. So you're not, your body absorbing everything, right? Yeah. And so when I went from eating what you would consider a actual carnivore diet to just back to regular keto with the, you know, the 30 grams of carbs or less or whatever, then things went back to normal. Yeah. But I haven't, I really honestly, I mean, these are all things that can happen, but I really haven't experienced any of it. No, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, to bother me at all. But I, I'll tell you though, the, the thing that does affect me when I have a cheat day, man, is I've, I've got the, it's, it's, yeah, it'll it, get you. It's on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's on. So, <laughs> so yeah, I hope I hope uh I hope that that helps everybody with the poop talk. And uh I got to quit doing this. Anyway, I hope that helps everybody. Uh until next time, may your days be fueled with fat and uh may your poops be better. We'll see you next episode.